All right, here's problem three for the math subject GRE practice exam. Uh, this problem, we're evaluating this integral here, and I think the easiest way uh, would be to use a u-substitution. And so the, what you recognize if you're using a u-substitution is that the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. So you kind of have the derivative of this natural log of x function right here also in your function. So that's a hint that maybe a u-substitution is a good thing to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let u equal, I'm going to write it as ln x uh, instead of log x. I don't know. That's how I memorized them. And then du, the derivative of that will du over dx is 1 over x. So du is 1 over x dx. And now with that substitution, I can rewrite my integral here. Sorry if you're a teacher and you get picky at this step, but you can deal with it. I'm going to say x equals e to the negative 3 and x equals e to the negative 2 rather than rewrite these bounds of integration in terms of u um, because I'm going to switch them back to x's before I um, evaluate it, so why bother? Uh, now if I substitute, I got my 1 over x dx, so that all turns into my du, and then I have 1 over natural log of x here, so what I'm saying is this is just 1 over u du. And if you can get to here, you're in pretty good shape because this is probably an antiderivative that you know. I mean, you kind of just wrote it up there. That the antiderivative of 1 over u is just the natural log of u. So I can say that this is equal to the natural log of technically the absolute value of u. And I guess that's important. Uh, and I want to evaluate that from, I can switch these back to equals negative 3. No, I should write it one more time. All right, fine. From x equals e to the negative third to x equals e to the negative second. Uh, now I'm going to switch my variable back to an x. Instead of u, I'm going to write natural log of x. So I'll say that this is the natural log of the absolute value of the natural log of x. And I want to evaluate that thing from, sorry for all the vertical lines, e to the negative 3 to e to the negative 2. So what does that look like? Well, let's see. I could plug stuff in. I got the natural log of the absolute value of the natural log of e to the negative 2. And from that, I want to subtract the natural log of the absolute value of the natural log of e to the negative third. Unfortunately, a lot of stuff cancels out here. The natural log of e to the negative second power is just negative 2, so I get the natural log of the absolute value of negative 2 minus the natural log of the absolute value of negative 3. So I can take that one step further and write that as natural log 2 minus natural log of 3. Actually, I can take that a step further. This is correct, but if I remember right, that doesn't show up up here. And you're like, what happened? What did I do wrong? Well, you can apply a log rule here, right? The log of a quotient is equal to the difference in those logs. So this can be rewritten as the natural log of 2 thirds. Uh, and the natural log of 2 thirds is written right here, answer D. So that's the answer to this problem.